Now for this next part, I would encourage you to draw a diagram, something similar to what I've got here. We're told that after the collision, B hits a smooth vertical wall, which is perpendicular to the direction of motion. And the coefficient of restitution between B and the wall, E, is equal to 2 fifths. And we've got to find the speed of B immediately after hitting the wall. And you can see that before B hits the wall, from the previous part, we saw that it had a speed of 5U over 4. And after hitting the wall, I've given it a speed of V. So how do we find out what V is? Well, we've got to use Newton's law of restitution. Set up that equation, and we should be able to find out what V is. Now, that law, then, E, is equal to the speed of separation divided by, or compared to, the speed of approach. Now, if we look at the wall, it's stationary, so we know that the speed of separation is going to be V minus zero, just simply V. And this is divided by the speed of approach. And the speed of approach is going to be 5U over 4. So if I multiply both sides by 5U over 4, you get that V equals E times 5U over 4. And this is a result, really, that we should already know, that if some particle hits a wall and rebounds, it always rebounds with a speed of E times the initial speed of approach here. So you could really quote this result if you remember that. Anyway, so if we just tidy this up, then we find that E is 2 fifths, so we've got 2 fifths then multiplied by 5U over 4. And the 5's cancel, and 2 divides into the 4 twice, so therefore you end up with that speed V equaling U over 2. Alright, so hopefully that's given you an idea then how to go about that question.